so we have come to uh, an application where we are going to launch an ml app ml application in the docker so i have already made an ml image image net ml of a machine learning app in my local system as a docker image so i'm just running the docker image as an, in an interactive mode so, let's see let's go into so it's using the tensorflow and it's also using the keras library and it's a machine learning to identify images it's a already loaded mo already trained model they say it's an image net which predicts accurately most of the images it will just classify what the image closely resembles so it's downloading and it's uh, downloading the weights already trained weights so the deep learning is actually is where a machine can actually defeat a human in cognition like a human can easily classify what is a what's a car what's a bike what's a heavy vehicle what's a simple object whereas a machine can't so easily and uh, deep learning is what helps a machine identify such identify classify such things so so deep learning is where all the industry is leading there even from manufacturing to production to everyone needs a deep learning deep learning system to govern their systems so the world is fast shiftly moving towards uh, artificial intelligence where deep learning will play as a master role like a brain of a ai TensorFlow is a library used by yeah, developed, developed by Google and it closely resembles the tensor the concept of tensor in mathematics so where you can have a, a matrix as a dimension dimensional with transformation and things like that matrix motivation is where every every machine learning model comes to picture so let's wait for the mix to load so it's actually quite a lot because they have trained lot of images to be classified with the efficiency so it's almost complete okay so now it's running in the ip the remote ip the where i have the, in the docker where i have launched the ml app so i just need to go to the browser no actually i i am using the client python script as a client it's in my ml folder so where i have the python so request python script this request python script will take an image from a local machine and it will send it across the uh, to the docker so this is this is the script and it is it is using the same url as in the docker so it will send the image there and the replay will be which is which it is closely summing so i have named the name, name of the image represents the what is the major major picture in the image so we can send in the directories we can send uh, any of the e image to the remote application so so i'm just sending the in the home directory uh, any dot jpg let's see what's the result Oh, see so it's closely assembling a honeycomb so now i'm trying an another image and let's and let's go to the folder images where i'm trying a image say board dot png so it's sending the image and see it's a wreck wreck means a erect boat so it's slow and it's close to some lancer see sure breakwater leaf flex side something like that so we are you can also see the probability of matching there's almost nearly one okay so now i'm using the same folder images image net and uh, then i'm finding a bear so let's see a bear how close it's a bear 
so see it's a brown bear which is a close match the nearest match is American black bear okay so we have to add one more pick one more image you see the barrel in the home so it looks like the barrel and there is a and the next one is lumber mill okay so so this is the, see it is all the images has come here and it has some, given some output that i was trying to print there so this is how it works and let's see the real picture in my folder so this is the folders and uh, you can see the home the images which is represent it is named as, as what is there in the image the bar so this is the images folder whether it's a rug port so okay so if you want to see the stream there is a script and uh, so this is this that's all okay.